Hello everyone and welcome to the video. For the ease of convenience, I wanted to put together a separate video on how to get every sane awoken skill in Xenoverse 2, or rather, every awoken skill that can be used by a sane character. I've done very similar videos to this in the past, such as how to unlock every non-sane exclusive awoken skill, as well as how to unlock every super sane specific awoken skill, and of course, how to get every awoken skill in the game. Again, I just want to do this for the ease of convenience. Hopefully, it'll be a shorter video, so if you want to know how to get, for example, super sane blue evolution, there's timestamps in both the comments, the pink comment rather as well as in the description of this video before we jump into anything again timestamps if you want to skip ahead do me a favor please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed as about give or take 50% of you watching this part right here are not actually subscribed so please do subscribe and I do hope you find the following video useful entertaining all that good stuff Enjoy. To unlock the Super Saiyan Awoken skill, and by extension, Super Saiyan 2, and technically Super Saiyan 3, this is how you do that. Firstly, this has to be done on a sane character. So make a sane character, a sane cack avatar, custom character, created character, whatever you want to say, right? Make a sane character, then progress through the story mode until you've completed the Ruckus on Planet Namek story mode mission. Ironically enough, it's the mission where you and Vegeta battle against villainous mode Doria. Clear that mission, then get to level 30. Once you've done both of these things, then go to the Capsule Corp time rift in Canton City, then talk to Vegeta. This will activate the first of three missions. It's a pretty easy mission. Just clear it. It's, it won't take you long at all. You shouldn't have any problems with this. Then once you've done that, you then need to get to level 40. And so note for me, because I had plenty of Zenny, I was able to talk to Tolsok immediately after clearing the first mission. And then I was level 40. But the, I, well, when I did that, I couldn't talk to Vegeta. So get to level 40 if you do it the same way as me. Then go into photo mode, not the Content City photo mode. The photo mode where you can select a different stage and stuff like that. Then go back out of it, back into Content City or reload the game somehow. Just so the stage or rather just so Content City itself reloads. Then go back to the Capsule Corp Time Rift in Content City. Talk to Vegeta. And that will get you the second out of three missions. Again, you need to be level 40. Clear this, then talk to Vegeta again, and he'll tell you to talk to Bulma. Then you need to talk to Kid Trunks in the Capsule Corp Time Rift. Doing that, you can then talk to Vegeta again, and that will activate the third and final mission. Clearing this will then get you Super Saiyan. It is as simple as that. As long as you clear this mission, you will then get Super Saiyan unlocked as an Awoken skill to use on your other Saiyan characters and stuff like that. Now, to get Super Saiyan 2, well, you've again, once you've done this, you've got Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. For Super Saiyan 1, you need three bars of key. For Super Saiyan 2, you need four bars of key. And for Super Saiyan 3, you'll need five or more bars of key. So that's just three Awoken skills that you've got unlocked right there. Good stuff. Congratulations. You've just unlocked how to turn Super Saiyan in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Next, we have how to unlock the Super Vegeta Awoken skill and technically, by extension, Super Vegeta 2. Now, for the purposes of this video, I unlocked this specific Awoken skill on my Saiyan character, Pretty much immediately after I unlocked the Super Saiyan Awoken. I'm only mentioning this because I'm not fully sure if you absolutely need to be a Saiyan to get this specific Awoken. Again, you do need to be a Saiyan to get the Super Saiyan Awoken, and by extension, again, Super Saiyan 1, 2, and Super Saiyan 3. But for Super Vegeta, I don't actually know if you absolutely have to be a Saiyan cack. So firstly, to get this, you need to get Super Saiyan unlocked first because, again, if you're on a Saiyan character, you just you'll get it. You'll get Super Saiyan first. Then this will happen later on. 
You need to get to at least level 50 to get the first or rather the next mission from Vegeta in the Capsule Corp Time Rift. Clear this mission, then get to level 60 or get to at least level 60. Reload the city if you already are. Again, go into Photon Mode or reload the game as in log out and then log back in or restart it, what have you, when you're level 60 or above, and that will give you the third mission from Vegeta. Clear this one, and you will then get the Super Vegeta Awoken skill. Fairly straightforward, but again, I don't know if you absolutely need to be a sound character to get this specific Awoken skill. Next, we have how to get future Super Saiyan. This one is incredibly awkward, at least it was for me for this video. So there's quite a few things that you actually have to do in order to get the future Super Saiyan Awoken skill. Firstly, clear the normal Xenoverse 2 story mode, the mission where you battle against Final Four Mirror or Mirror Absorbed Tower. Super Saiyan Blue Goku helps you. It's when the credits roll. You have to clear this first. This is an absolute, well, all these are, but this is a necessity. Then once you've done that, you need to then go and collect the five distorted time eggs scattered around the various time rifts in Canton City. So there's five of these. It doesn't matter which order you get them in, and I believe you can get these basically whenever. Actually, I know you can get at least some of these before you've even defeated Final Four Mirror in the Xenoverse 2 normal story mode. So firstly, for the Namekian Distorted Egg, you have to clear the Guru, or rather the Protecting Planet Namek mission, a total of 14 times. To get Super Saiyan Blue and Blue Evolution later on as we go over, again, check the description of the video, of this video, and probably in the pinned comments as well, for timestamps on how to get those two Awoken skills as well as other Awoken skills in the video or that are available right now. But you'll need to get to level 95 to get Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and level 9 for Super Saiyan Blue. So you have to do this regardless because doing this 14 times, again, you'll get then get the time egg, the, well, rather the, the distorted time egg from Guru and he'll also unlock your potential further so you can then progress from level 80 to then level 99. So do that 14 times and you'll then get the distorted time egg from the planet Namek time rift. In the capsule corp, time egg thing, whatever, talk to Bulma after you've unlocked the Super Saiyan Awoken skill or rather after you've finished training with Vegeta, just in case you've done this on, for example, a freeze race character. Doesn't matter what you do it on. And side note, you only have to get these five time eggs once, thankfully just once, per save file. What do I mean by this? Well, by that I mean all you need to do is get them once and regardless of what other characters you make, you won't have to get these again, thankfully, which is fantastic. Yeah, so talk to Bulma after you finish training with Vegeta. Basically, it's, you'll get a trophy pop-up yeah, from Vegeta saying you're number one or whatever it is once you've finished training with him in the Capsule Corp time rip. For Margin Boo, thankfully this one's incredibly straightforward. Just keep feeding him until he gives you the distorted time egg. You have to make a couple of trips to and from the Margin Boo time rip place from the item shop in Canton City. Go and buy the food, any of it works. I personally went for water, for the most part at least, because it's the cheapest. But again, if you do that, you will have to make a couple of trips to and from. Just keep feeding him water until he literally gives you the time egg. It's, it's incredibly straightforward, rather easy. For the next time egg, go to Hercules House, the Hercules House time rift, and talk to the Great Sandman. Should be on the right immediately after you load into Hercules House. There'll be Jacko, Great Sandman 1 and Great Sandman 2. Oh, I wonder who they possibly could be. I hope one day we find out. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> nah. Yeah, talk to them, and I believe there's only six missions you have to do. Clear them, then go and talk to Hercule, and he will then give you the time, but well, distorted time egg. And finally, and in at least in my opinion, at least, the most awkward time egg to get, which is the one from Freezer's ship. 
Firstly, go to Freezer's ship and talk to, I forget who exactly it is. It's either Zarbon or Dodoria, but there's only one person that you can actually talk to and just talk to them, clear the missions, then talk to the next person who you can talk to in Freezer's ship. Keep going until you get a choice between either Freezer and Cooler. It does not matter who you pick. For the purposes of this video, and at least I try to at least keep it simple, I went and spoke to Freezer. Now keep going until you can't do any more of the missions, well, until there's no more missions available to do in the spaceship. Now at this point, this is where, at least for me, it got just a little bit awkward. I've got my notes right here, as I do normally, but I need to explain this because I see people asking all the time on videos and stuff like that, how to get this, well, this distorted time egg. This is what you need to do. Once you've gone to the Freezer spaceship and there's no more missions to clear, leave the Freezer spaceship. And I think you have to do two things. I think you need to equip the Super Soul that you are given by either Cooler or Freezer. I, I don't know if you actually have to do this one, but do it anyway, just in case. And go and talk to Dodoria in the Namek section on Canton City. You're going to a fight, all good there. Now, if you don't get the summons at Freezer's spaceship pop-up on the top right of your screen, go and just do either mentor missions and or Pella quests or just normal quests in general. You have to go and complete more of these to keep getting the next pop-up of summons at Freezer's spaceship to then progress. Just keep doing this until you finally fight either Golden Freezer by, well, if you pick the Freezer side in the Freezer Force, or I think it's Metal Cooler if you go and pick Cooler instead of Freezer. Then once you've done that and the final mission, go and talk to Naval in Freezer's spaceship and he'll then give you finally the final distorted time egg would you got all five of them go and talk to supreme car of time in the time nest then go and talk to xeno trunks near the time vault again in the time nest which is spoken to trunks you'll then start the barlock versus mirror mission then once you've done that just keep going i think it goes immediately oh no sorry after you've done that then talk to xeno trunks in the time nest again he's right there in front of you like literally in front of you and that will then activate the mission where you actually get Future Super Saiyan, finally we get Future Super Saiyan, which is you playing as Future Gohan, and then later Future Trunks helps you against Android 17 and Android 18. Finally, once you've cleared this mission, you'll then get Future Super Saiyan, and that was absolutely, in every way possible, just absolutely and incredibly exhausting. But once you've done that, you'll then get Future Super Saiyan. Again, I did this on a Saiyan character, but for this one, I'm fairly certain it doesn't matter what character you do this on. I know this is taking about eight minutes, about, give or take eight minutes specifically on how to get Future Super Saiyan, but I want this video and the eventual final video to be the most thorough video on YouTube on how to get every Awaken skill and later on, every skill in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Next up, we have how to unlock the Super Saiyan God Awoken skill. So firstly, this can be unlocked on any character, even if it's not on a Saiyan character. So for example, you could do this on a Freezer Race character and you'll still get both of the Awokens, those being Super Saiyan God male and Super Saiyan God female. So firstly, you're going to want to get all seven Dragon Balls. Do this any way you want, but the best way to do it as of right now in Dragon Balls Universe 2 is to clear Parallel Quest 23. There's a few reasons for this, but long story short, it's just the fastest, easiest, and most efficient Parallel Quest specifically for getting Dragon Balls, as you can get, I think, like, what, a maximum of, of three or four per run. Sometimes you might not, not get any at all, but you can get like up to three or four per run. Now to unlock this parallel quest, if for whatever reason you don't have it unlocked as of right now, just progress through the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 story mode. And I think either after clearing the Freezer Saga or the Cell Saga, you will get this as a parallel quest. But if you are trying to get 
Supersang God as an Awoken, you probably more than likely already have this Parallel Quest unlocked. Again, that's Parallel Quest 23. And I believe the name off the top of my head is the Explosion of Namek. So firstly, the reason why this is like the best Parallel Quest specifically for getting Dragon Balls is because, it, well, again, it's a very, very, very easy quest to do. And once you defeat Freezer, you then get the ultimate finish, which is three time patrollers flying in for, again, the ultimate finish. But the difference here is that all three of these time patrollers, their level does not scale depending on your level or rather the level of the host of the lobby if you do it online. I believe them like level 28 to like level 31 and I don't believe they have any skills. So just run like a, a key build with like final explosion or what have you and you will just be able to clear this incredibly quickly and again you can get a maximum of i think it's four dragon balls maybe three per run but do keep in mind that you could also do this a hundred times and technically not get a single dragon ball but you're not going to do it that many times and not get any so once you've got all seven dragon balls regardless of what method you use you then summon shenron and unfortunately because i've already got all seven well all the awoken skills and super saiyan god i can't show this in like real time but something will be on the screen anyway but summon Shenron and there will be an option at the very bottom which says something along the lines of I want to become the Super Saiyan God or I think it's like yeah I think it's I want to become a Super Saiyan God click that and then once the cutscene goes and you go back to Canton City home of the time patrol you then need to max out your friendship with several characters doesn't matter what order you do it in but these characters are Goku, Gohan with Videl, Vegeta, Pan and Goltenks. So to unlock these as mentors, if you don't have them unlocked, you know, right off the, well, not right off the bat. If you don't have any of these mentors unlocked, just go and clear or progress through the Dragon Balls Universe 2 story mode. Try leveling up. I don't think you have to get past level 80 for this, specifically for this part. And clear the previous advancement tests if you haven't already done so. Once you've done all of that and you've maxed out your mentor friendship with all these characters, and side note, the best way, as far as I'm aware, to max out mentor friendships is just to have them as your mentor and just keep clearing the first available mentor mission. It's the fastest and most efficient way to just max out mentor friendships, regardless of which mentor you have. Then once you've maxed all these characters' mentor friendship bars out, then go and speak to Beerus in Canton City. He's no well, not normally, unless he's your mentor, he will be on top of the orange high school school name whatever it's called talk to him and there'll be some sort of special option i believe which is like i, I want to talk about a super saiyan god click that and he'll then give you the super saiyan god awoken skills again regardless of which character you did this on so like i said before if you did this on a freeze race character you will then get both the awoken skills but naturally these can only be used on well the male version on a male custom saiyan character and the same for a female version on the female custom same character. All good there, rather nice, moving on. And now we have Hell to Unlock Super Saiyan Blue, technically as well, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, same thing, oh yes. So thankfully this can be done on any character, regardless of if, it, if it's a same character, a Margin, a Namekian, but naturally it can only be used on a male or a female same avatar a sane cack so for, well there's only two things really that you need to do firstly you need to be at least level 90 and secondly you need to have max friendship with Wiz as your mentor now once you've done that just go and talk to Wiz in Canton City either if he's your mentor or not and he will literally just give you super sane blue <laughs> it's literally just that simple now to get to level 90 you need to be well you need to be level 90 but you can't just level straight up to it for the most part at least so once you hit level 80 you won't be able to level up to level 81 how do you fix this go talk to guru and he will then unlock your potential then to get past level 85 to then get to level 90 again get to level 85 first then reload the city then you should get a pop-up as you can see on the screen right now saying something like oh the level cap's been increased go talk to guru in the namic time rift and he'll then unlock your potential further so you can then progress to a high level do the same thing the exact same thing when you're level 
95 to get to level 99 and jobs done. You may need to go and complete the, what is it, protect the Dragon Ball mission if you've not done it for a while. But after you've done that, just go and talk straight to Guru and he will unlock your potential. Very good right there. And also max friendship with Wiz. Now to get Wiz as your mentor, I'm not fully sure what the specifics are because I thought you got him as a mentor once you completed the Xenoverse 2 story mode or the Unknown History, the secret ending. But this is what I did. Make sure you complete all of the advancement tests by Elder Kai near the Orange Star High School in Canton City. Now, if you can't unlock the next one, just try and progress through the story mode. If that doesn't work, try leveling up. And if that still doesn't work, try going through some of your mentor quests. And I think eventually it will unlock for me. It unlocked after completing Freezer as my mentor. We have the mentor missions, I should say. And try and do some parallel quests and eventually you'll get the pop-up, which will say, yeah, you can now take the next advancement test. Do the final one, then Wiz will then become available as your mentor in Canton City. Now, side note, a very quick way, as in maybe 20 or even 30 minutes to max out Wiz's friendship bar, is to go and do the parallel quest called Dragon Ball Raw. I forget what the number of the parallel quest is. It's in like, I think it's like 22 or something like that. You should have it unlocked at this point in the game, or rather by the time you have Wiz as a mentor, you should easily have this max well you should have this unlocked already do this and for your two teammates have Wiz equipped and i think it also helps if you have Wiz's skills that you get from the four Wiz mentor missions once it starts just go and collect the three dragon balls scattered around planet namek take them back to the time machine it takes maybe a minute to do and you get a good amount of progress on the friendship bar i don't know if this is the absolute fastest or most efficient way but just what i've been using for this specific video and again once you've then maxed out wizzy's friendship meter bar and you're at least level 90 just go and talk to Wiz in Canton City, regardless of where he is, either if he's by the, well, by Goku, if he's not your current mentor, or if, even if he's by the Orange Star High School, if he's your mentor right now. Just go and talk to him, which you've done those two things, and he will then just give you the Super Saiyan Blue Awoken skill. It is, honestly, at this point in the game, after game Future Super Saiyan, it's fairly easy to get. Now, before we move on to how to unlock Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, if you followed everything I've just said on how to unlock Super Saiyan Blue in Dragon Ball Universe 2, and you followed it correctly, but for some reason you still haven't got Super Saiyan Blue, it might be because you also now need to unlock Super Saiyan God, as in the new, or rather the red, suit or well, saying god god key or walking skill now i'm saying might because i don't know but i figured well i'm doing an updated version of this video anyway i may as well kind of like maybe future proof myself because if they release in a verse 2 again in the future like with um next gen or what have you graphics or what have you they may change that. So long story short, Super Saiyan God was added after Super Saiyan Blue and after even Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. But Super Saiyan God, the red version, is the inferior version of both of those two Super Saiyan skills I've just mentioned. But you may have to get Super Saiyan God first if you followed what I've just said and you still can't get it. You may get a pop-up, I don't know. Again, I'm also doing this just to cover myself for, well, to future-proof this video, just in case. Now, if you do need to unlock Super Saiyan God, like I've just said, once again, check the description or the little chapter thing on the video play bar on how to actually go and unlock the Super Saiyan God Awoken skills. And now we have how to unlock Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, which as of right now, I think it's just the... I think it's flat out the strongest Awoken skill period in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, also known as Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolved, I think it's called as well. It's, it's the same thing, doesn't matter. So there's three things you need to do to get Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as an Awoken skill. Firstly, this can be done on any character, much like it's Super Saiyan Blue, so you can do this on a Freeze race if you really want to, but naturally it can only be used on a Saiyan character. So firstly, you need to already have Super Saiyan Blue unlocked. 
Secondly, you need to be at least level 95. And third and finally, you need to have max friendship with Vegeta as your mentor. Once you've done those three things, just go talk to Whis again in Canton City and he'll then, much like Super Saiyan Blue, he'll just then give you Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as an Awoken skill. If you need help on how to get Vegeta as your mentor, well, actually, at this point, he should be unlocked anyway. Actually, no, he is because you need Wiz anyway. So at this point, if you need help leveling up, if you need help maxing out Vegeta as your mentor, just go and check how to get Super Saiyan Blue because I cover how to level up and how to, in an incredibly fast way, max out your friendship with any given mentor. Again, do those three things. Go and talk to Wiz in Canton City and he'll then give you Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as an Awoken skill. Now, much like what I've just said, for Super Saiyan Blue, for Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, if you've done everything I've just said and you have Super Saiyan Blue unlocked, but for some reason you still don't have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, try and unlock Super Saiyan God. I don't think you need to do it, but you never know what they do in the future or they may update it or do a definitive edition update of PS5, Xenoverse 2 with everything in the game. Long story short, as I've already mentioned for Super Saiyan Blue, but because I know for these videos, people will use the timestamp, so you may not exactly hear it, which is, don't get me wrong, that's the point of these videos, that's all good. They added Super Saiyan God after both Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, despite Super Saiyan God being the inferior version of both of those Super Saiyan transformations. So, if again, if you've already unlocked Super Saiyan Blue, but for some reason, you can't get Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Just go and try and get Super Saiyan God. Again, timestamps in the description, pin comment, all that good stuff. Don't think you'll need to do it. But once again, as I've already mentioned, you never know what I'm going to do in the future for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So for the next Awoken skill, it technically is an Awoken ability, an Awoken skill, whatever you want to call it. But as of right now, this is not something that is usable by your created characters, and that is Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, and technically as well, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10. As of right now, this is exclusive to Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and at that, Precept 2 and Precept 4 of Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So to get this as a usable skill on Super Saiyan Blue Goku, again, it technically is an Awoken skill just as right now, not an Awoken skill usable by your CAC, avatar, created character, custom character. Again, I forgot how many times I've said that. What do you want to call it? There's two things you need to do. Firstly, you need to actually unlock Super Saiyan Blue Goku as a playable character. And to do that, just clear, I believe it's the third out of the four total missions in the Resurrection of F arc in the Xenoverse 2 story mode. It's the mission where you as your character team up with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta against Villainous Mode Metal Cooler and Villainous Mode Golden Frieza. Clear this and you will then get preset one of Super Saiyan Blue Goku as a playable character and technically as well Super Saiyan Blue preset one. Preset one Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Now to then get Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and again Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 There's two presets as I've mentioned of Goku that has this and that's preset 2 and preset 4 again of Super Saiyan Blue Goku To get preset 2 of Super Saiyan Blue Goku simply purchase DLC 1 also known as DB Super Pack 1 and to get preset 4 of Super Saiyan Blue Goku purchase DB Super Pack or also just known as DLC 4, and that will then give you presets of Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, that then has Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10. Again, as of right now, as of me speaking, or rather as of when this video is first uploaded, this is not available as of right now for your created custom characters. To unlock the Ultra Instinct Awoken skill, this is a very easy and quick Awoken skill to actually get, surprisingly enough. So to get this, all you need to do is talk to Full Perigiron 
in Canton City, not the Fort Pelgeron in the Festival of Universes area. It has to be in Canton City. He's right behind the multiplayer modes character. It's at this part on, well, in Canton City. You know where he is. Now, talk to him and he will be level 60. Once you defeat him, you will then unlock the Ultra Instinct Awoken skill for all of your characters, regardless of which character you use to unlock it on. You only do it once and that's it. So, for example, if you unlock this on, let's say, a Namekian character, you will then be able to instantly use this on, let's say, a Saiyan character or a Freezer Ice. Once you've unlocked it, that's it. It doesn't matter if you then delete the character. Once you have it unlocked, you have it unlocked permanently. Now, for whatever reason, if Fall Perigiron isn't appearing for you, just do two things. Firstly, level up, and secondly, progress through the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 story mode, the main story mode, like the science, well, the Dragon Ball Z saga, some super stuff, all that, and he will then eventually appear, but he's probably already there, if you are watching this, maybe, I don't know. But I do know that, I believe I had a comment saying that Full Pelgeron appeared for them when they were level 17. I think level 17 is about the Ginyu Force saga. I know I'm over explaining this, but if you don't know, you don't know. And I want to make sure there's no room for error or interpretation or anything like that. So again, he's at this area in Canton City. Talk to him. He'll be level 60. It's a very, very easy mission. Even if you fail, you can just restart it or retry it. There's no sort of consequence for failing it. You probably won't, even if you're level 1, to be honest, because it's just very easy and it's designed just to do to get the Awoken skill. So again, once you have it unlocked, you can then use it, and then Jiren will then disappear from that area in Canton City, but he'll occasionally be in the Festival of Universes area. So again, just to wrap up very quickly, if he's not here, just level up and progress through the story mode, then talk to him, defeat him, and then you will unlock the Ultra Instinct Awoken skill for all of your custom characters. The next Awoken skill we have is the Beast Awoken skill that Gohan uses against Cell Max in the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. So the first thing you're going to want to do for this is make sure that you've maxed out your friendship with both Piccolo and Gohan with Videl. Now, if you don't have either of these unlocked as mentors or they won't train you, then there's a few things you need to do first and make sure you listen to what I'm saying right now. Firstly, try leveling up. Secondly, pro well, try progressing through the Xenoverse 2 story mode if you have any left to do up until the final four mirror fight. The unknown history, I don't believe, counts, and of course the DLC stuff doesn't matter, or the extra missions, or the Talkopedia. Then, if you still can't talk to them, or they are not appearing in Canton City, clear the previous, or actually at this point, make sure you clear all of the advancement tests, and maybe get a Z rank on them, just in case, and a Z rank on all of them will also unlock the potential Unleashed Awoken skill, which I'm sure I'll say again, or would have said again, at some point in this video. Make sure you do all that that I've just said, then you should have them as characters that you can train under, and if it still doesn't work, try <laughs> clearing all the other mental missions that you can do, then you will 100% be able to talk to them and have them as your mentor. Now, just keep repeating the first mission, I believe it is, on both Piccolo and then Gohan with Adele, and that's going to be the easiest and fastest way to max out the mentor friendship. Then, once you have maxed out both the friendship bar on Gohan with Adele and on Piccolo, it doesn't matter which order you do, team, just make sure you do it. Talk to Piccolo. If he's not your mentor, he'll be just outside of the Time Nest in Canton City. And if he is your mentor, he will be at the Orange Star High School. And there should be an option that says something along the lines of, I want to train even more. Click that, and that will then start a mission. And you can, as of right now at least, you can do this as much as you want. It's a fun mission, it does the job. It'll be you. Orange Piccolo and DBS Gohan, not Beast, DBS Gohan that can transform via potential release, unleash, whatever you want to call it, against Cell Max. Do damage on Cell Max, clear the mission, and then you will have the Beast Awoken skill unlocked on every character. So again, for example, if you do this on a Freezer character, once you have it unlocked, you can then use it on any other character 
past, present, future that you've deleted. If you delete a character, it doesn't matter. Once you have it unlocked once for the first time, you then have it unlocked permanently. Now, if you can't talk to Piccolo and or if he does it, but well, not and or if you can't talk to him if he doesn't give you the option to click on i want to train more and you have his mentor bar and gohan with adele's mentor bar mental bar easy for me to say maxed out you'll just have to progress through the story mode and level up you probably won't know but i have had just a handful of comments saying that he didn't have the option to do that so if you don't have the option just make sure you really listen to what I've just said for this part of the video on how to get the Beast Awoken. And then again, the mission is very easy. If you fail it, just retry it. You won't fail it, lol. But again, once you got it unlocked, you then have it unlocked for all characters and unlocked permanently. And finally, we have Sword of Hope. Technically speaking, this is not an, an Awoken skill. This is actually an ultimate attack, but at least as of right now, this is the only ultimate attack in the game that actually changes your moveset, I guess, as well as your animations and, you know, just stuff like that. So just for giggles, let's put it here on how to unlock Sword of Hob for your cack. So this is kind of the closest thing as of right now to maybe, just maybe, Super Saiyan Rage. And to get this, this is from the TP Metal Store in the skills section. And this is, you can buy this for 300 TP medals. But there's kind of, but not really, but kind of to some extent, just a bit of a catch. And here's the catch. The TP Metal Store has, I guess you could call them rotations where one week there'll be certain things there and then the next week there'll be new things there and those previous things that were there only a week ago or even maybe a couple of hours or even a couple of days ago are no longer available. So if you want to get Sword of Hope, the ultimate, pseudo awoken I guess, go and check the TP Metal Store. Again, it's for 300 TP Metal, so make sure you've got enough TP Metal to do this or rather to buy it. And if it's not available right now, just go and make sure you have 300 TP Metals when it does become available and just keep checking every day until eventually you see the Sword of Hope Ultimate Attack. Again, it's not an Awoken, at least as of right now. Maybe it'll change it, probably not. But when you actually use it, you have a different moveset, a different stance, and you know, stuff like that. So again, 300 TP Metals from a TP Metal store. If it's not available for you right now and you don't already have it, just keep checking back daily or maybe every other day, I guess. I don't know, but just check daily just to make sure. 300 TP Metals, so make sure you've got enough. So once it is back, you can actually go and get it. And once you've got it, you've then got it. And now we have how to get Kaioken and technically Kaioken times three as well as Kaioken times 20. Now, thankfully, this is the easiest and the fastest Awakening skill to unlock in Xenoverse 2, and much like Potential Unleashed, this can be unlocked and used on any character. So to get this, you just need to clear Parallel Quest number 8. But to unlock Parallel Quest number 8, you need to clear Parallel Quest number 6 and then Parallel Quest number 7. Clearing Parallel Quest number 7, you don't need the ultimate finish by the way, but if you clear Parallel Quest number 7, that will then unlock Parallel Quest number 8, what's it called, Invade Earth or something like that. Now if you've done that and it still isn't available, then try progressing through the story mode. You may need to clear the Saiyan Saga, as in defeat Great Ape Nappa and Great Ape Vegeta. That battle, I'm not entirely sure though, but just do that, then clear Parallel Quest number 6, number 7 and then number 8, and I'm not entirely sure who or where this is dropped on the quest because it doesn't say you got skill it, you know, once you actually get it. I just assume that you get it from Goku on the ultimate finish. I think I tried this twice or maybe three times, but I think I tried it twice and I got it on the second attempt, thankfully. So here are the ultimate finish conditions here. Just do this, just keep going until you get it. I don't think it's going to be that hard to actually unlock then to use Karkin times three i think you need like between one and three bars of key i think i forget but for Karkin times 20 i believe you need five or more bars of key and for just a normal Karkin, i think it's between one and two bars of key good stuff right there and now we have how to unlock potential unleashed 
Thankfully, this is an awoken skill that can be used and unlocked on any character. So it doesn't matter what character you use it to unlock it on. Once you've got it, you've got it. So the long and short of it is, firstly, clear the first five advancement tests with a Z rank, and doing that will then unlock the final advancement test and clear that one, and that will then give you the potential unleashed Awoken skill. Now, as I've mentioned already at some point in this specific video, I'm not entirely sure what the absolute specifics are to unlock the next advancement test. So if you are having trouble unlocking them for some reason, do the following. Firstly, clear all previous advancement tests. Secondly, try leveling up. Thirdly, progress through the story mode if you can. And third and finally, just go and do things like parallel quests and mentor missions. And doing all of those at some point should activate the, well, the, what is needed to activate the a new advancement test message in the top right or whatever it's called specifically to actually go and pop up and just go and do it. Now, it's fairly easy to get a Z rank. You don't need to get a Z rank on the sixth mission. You just need to go and clear it. For this video, for the sixth mission, I actually got on the first attempt an S rank. So again, you do not need to Z rank the sixth mission, which actually gives you the potential unleashed awoken skill. Thankfully, you don't have to Z rank these on the first attempt, just Z rank them. And again, Z rank the first five, and that will then unlock the sixth and final mission, which again, gives you the potential unleashed transformation. Very nice right there. If you're having trouble Z ranking them, you can try equipping one of these super souls that gives you an XP or a bonus, I think what it's called, like a double or triple bonus on missions. Just do things like hit them with like a large combo, go for like the rush key blast, go for grabs, three grabs, I think five supers and five ultimates, be transformed by the time the fight finishes and hit the last opponent with an ultimate attack. That should easily give you a Z rank. To unlock the potential release, potential unleashed, whatever you want to call it, a Welkin skill that Gohan from Dragon Ball Super Superhero uses specifically, all you need to do is purchase the Hero of Justice Pack 1 DLC or the Hero of Justice Pack set. DLC, which comes with DLC, well, the Hero of Justice Pack 1 and 2. Now, as of right now, this is only available to DBS Superhero Gohan. So get either of these and then just select this version of Gohan. Use the Awoken skill and that is technically how you use it. It's basically Potential Unleashed. I forget if it does the same damage or have you as Potential Unleashed that can be used on custom characters. But that said, that is technically how you get that Awoken skill to use on Dragon Ball Super Superhero Gohan in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And now we have Villainous Mode. Technically, it's not an Awoken in the sense of it's not labeled specifically as an Awoken skill. And this is exclusive to a couple of modes. Now, firstly, to get this, you need to clear the Frieza Saga, the battle where you and Super Saiyan Goku team up to battle and defeat Villainous Mode Final Form Cooler and Villainous Mode Final Form 100% Max Power Freezer. Then you'll have like a little bit of a cutscene in Canton City with the purple sphere thing and Fu will be there. Now, you can do the tutorial as you can see right here and this will put you in the Villainous Mode form against 5 CPUs. But to use this online, you do need to have a Demon Realm Crystal. You can get these a couple of ways, but the main way you'll probably get this, well, Demon Round Crystals, is from drops on expert missions. I forget the number of which expert mission it is, but it's the expert mission against Super Villainous Mode, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Z. This expert mission has the highest, at least I think, the highest drop rate for Demon Crystals out of any other expert mission as of right now in Dragon Ball Universe 2. But once you have Demon Crystals, you only need one per like attempt, I guess. You need to be the raid boss, either the raid boss or rather the host of the lobby for the 1 versus 5 crystal raid mode, or either the host or the other leader for the 2 versus 4 crystal raid. 
they'd just be the holes, pick your character, and if you do have a demon crystal, well, I don't think you can do it without a demon crystal, but would you then have a demon crystal, just go talk to food, do it, and at the start, you'll get that nice little cutscene transforming into it just for this mold. And again, it will use one demon around crystal per run. Now, if you're going to falter mold with any, well, with just one or more of the raid skills equipped on your CAC, on your avatar, custom character, whatever you want to call it, you will also then be in a permanent, well, in the permanent Venus mold state until you then leave falter mold. And that is how to unlock every awoken skill that can be used by a sane character as of the Ultra Instinct update so far for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Thank you ever so much for watching. Now, again, as I've just said, the latest awoken skill that has been added to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 as of this upload is Ultra Instinct. I'm only mentioning that because I'm almost certain and it's just a feeling, nothing's confirmed right now, but I am fairly certain we're gonna get at least one more Awoken skill in the future. With that said, which Awoken skill would you want that to be? Maybe Super Saiyan Rose, maybe Super Saiyan 4, maybe a turn orange Namekian Awoken skill? Do let me know in the comments. Thank you ever so much. Don't forget, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. More videos on the screen right now, and I'll see you on one of these other videos in just a moment.